Thanks for staying with us. So, there's a conversation ongoing. Should a woman take her husband's name after marriage? Or who started the law or the doctrine or the practice of saying that women must carry their husband's name after marriage? That's a conversation that's been having for the past few days. And one of the Nigerian actor, Kemi Lala Akindoju, also joined the conversation where she criticized the tradition of women taking her husband's surnames after marriage. According to her, she says that, honestly, if we want to do two, shall become one. The couple should merge <laughs> both names. She says that she still questions the children automatically coming from the father's state of origin, or even taking his surname, and the fact that the man owns the child. Um, according to her also, she reminded us that the scripture, the scripture says that the man cleaves to the woman. But hey, according to her, what do I know? Most importantly, a woman should be allowed to choose whether she wants to change her name or not, or to even compound it. What are your thoughts on this? Because this conversation, as I said, has been ongoing for the past few days now. Um, it's on social media. People are talking about it. Various um, celebrities are also jumping on and asking and having this conversation. Even in homes, spouses are talking and saying, okay, is it possible? I must take your name. Why is it that our children are taking your name? Especially those who are multi-ethnic marriages. They are also asking these questions. How do we ensure that both our identities are represented in our children's names. What are your thoughts on this? Let me start with you, Toxic Yadi. <laughs> All of you are multi, something here now. Yes. And the, the weird part of this is the fact that majority of the comments, people assume that she was not married or she was divorced and she's unhappy. Oh, wow. She's a bitter person, yes. Oh, really? The comments um, were of the opinion that for somebody to say something like this, <laughs> <laughs> then you are probably a Niger? feminist, you are unhappy in your uh, marriage, anyone? and you are divorced in your father's house or just a bitter person. Yes. And it just fits into that narrative of the fact that when you question the norm, you are seen as unusual you are seen for if you question if you ask questions of anything you just you are not normal there must be something wrong with you why would you how dare you question what i've always seen but we became we got to where we are by questioning the best societies of the world questioned what was the norm and that was how they brought about the necessary change that makes us admire them so much mm -hmm. so first to what she said about um women changing their name i think that in most cases um the society is already adapting a bit, especially when a woman already has an, mm. a, like an a identity, known identity, a known identity. Yeah. Maybe she's already um, high-flying in terms of career, and her name is associated with... So Chimamanda Adichie, Chimamanda Adichie, she's written names. Well, she's going to change her name to Chimamanda Keneko Keneko, mm. and then they'll be trying to prove Chimamanda which name... Kolade. Uh -huh. so, so in some cases, many actors, actresses, people that have... I mean, actresses that are... That women that have already mm, yeah. attained a level of... Um, achievement with their name associated with that achievement tend to hold on to that. But the truth is, I love this question because many, every woman has, has achieved something, whether it's going to school, just being alive is an achievement. And a lot of times you're having to prove, um, my name is Tokwe Udubela, I've not become Tokwe Makodige. My certificate of Tokwe Udubela is still valid. Today, yeah. And then I have to always prove that I am the same person. I have, every woman in Nigeria has to submit to printouts newspaper printout clipping yeah. to prove that I am the same person that I was before. It is worth us discussing because my identity shouldn't have to be going through. If I want to change my passport, I have to go to Ameri I have to go to Ab Abuja because I am married. Just because I've gotten married. You cannot change your name from your passport in any other place within. Like, we, we, can, um, now. we can now do it here. Yeah. Well, I don't like have to go to Abuja. Just for fact but we check. are grateful that we are now. So we, we, there are many yeah. things that women have to go through yeah. that makes us having to have this conversation shouldn't be a thing associated with bitterness or anger, but just saying, how can we make our lives better? better. Mm. And easier. Can we make our lives easier? Can we make it make sure that women are not having to always prove that the certificates okay, match and all of that? They say so I'm happy about the conversation the, and the, I think it's the, worth having. In Yoruba, they say that um, um, Kashi Boshiman Sheikh Bali Boshimari, yeah. as in let's do things as they do it. So it looks as it should look, you know, and That's meaning that I mean. we shouldn't change tradition much. That we should just, just just keep things the way they are. Because hey, the reason why you're here is because somebody kept things. Man, woman have children. Nobody said, okay, now now we're doing this pairing and redirecting things. The reason why Mariam Longa is sitting here today is because we kept the the tradition of marry A to produce B to have this, and that we should continue. Because so you you come in with these questions, these new ideas, this new ideology. We, the, there's the, the culture will say. Let's not go that far. Let's, let's keep things as they are. What are your oh, thoughts oh. On, on, on this? And do you think... <laughs> <laughs> just trying to yeah, have a conversation. I, I, I so, but, yeah, so, um, culture is a way of life of a people. Mm. 
and it's the human beings that determine their culture. Mm. And some cultures serve you for the longest of terms, others do not. And we're saying we are enlightened enough, we're educated enough, we have brains to think, to know which cultures serve us, which ones we should hold on to, and which ones sh we should, you know, let go off with time. As every society evolves, there are certain things that they drop. We can't say, ah, it has to be since it was uh, at the beginning, so shall it be forever and ever. It's not going to work that way. We just keep picking and choosing. And it comes from some of these questions that we have asked. Nobody has ever asked a woman how easy it was for you to be changing name and jumping up and down to make sure that you prove that you are the same person. Nobody has ever paid attention to what women go through to do that, right? And now people are saying, we can actually question what's the essence? Why do we need to do this? It's a good one. So it's not all cultures that will hold on. If not, we will not be using phones today. We don't, <laughs> should be technology, we will not use it today. We will still be tying wrapper on our chest, you know, and eating in clay pots and all of that. But we had to evolve. Evolve, and so everything must evolve. However, let's not evolve because other people are evolving. Let's evolve as it suits our society per time. So for that uh, woman, whether you want to bear a name or not, I've always said that if I was known like this before I got married, I would have retained my father's name. But I was not known anything at the time, you know, and it was when I had gotten a new name mm. that I was known, and so it was easy for me. But I've always questioned that anybody who wants to, is a conversation you have with your husband, mm. should we keep the name or should we not keep the name? But for the children, mm. I have a problem because I know that women can mix children. A man cannot mix a child, mix children so to speak. A man's seed is a man's seed. So if a man gets somebody pregnant in US, is the, let's take for instance, is Okeke, is Okeke seed that is in the US. He gets another person pregnant in the UK, is Okeke seed. He gets another person pregnant in Nigeria, is Okeke seed that's everywhere. So for me, I would that the, the owner of the seed, the person who planted the seed, bears the name. Mm. You know, the child bears the name of the seed owner. The seed owner. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me just, I'm trying egg, to, hey, hold egg on. is not a seed, mm, don't on. worry. Egg. It looks more like a seed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> egg is different because yeah. they can be different eggs. A woman has the capacity to have different seeds implanted in the eggs. Okay. Do you understand That's what I'm saying? So you can have a child uh, or children from different fathers, one woman mm -hmm. betting for different fathers, but a man cannot be one, um, one, I don't know how to, I, you I, get, I, you get So for children, mm -hmm. I think it's safer for also society, okay. you know, to ensure that the seed owner has, it, it doesn't mean that you will not have uh, what is the rights that are given to the mother, mm -hmm. the respect that is given to the, you better the child yeah. and all of that, you okay. are part owner of the child. But for that namesake, mm -hmm. it's safer for our society that it comes you know, from the man. I, I just come feel, to you, Maria, because I know yeah. that uh, even Nima keeps her father's name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, she's yeah. She's Islam, Islam allows yeah. that you yeah. keep, yeah. Well, let me, what are your, keep your father's name. So for me, I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> I feel that if it should be a choice. So it's a conversation I'm happy that we're having. But for me, the end should be, if I would like to keep it, I want to keep it. It's not, it shouldn't be like a serious issue that we are fighting over. Mm. I hope that that's where we finally get to. Because... Um, you know, we have seen men who have been proud to have hyphenated names because they married a girl from a family that has a particular name. Yeah. yeah. And yes, yes no. and it is, it, it gives them some sort of confidence, wow. mm -hmm. some clout, I love that. Married it gives into them some family. clout to say that I'm married into this family. Yeah. So, so they don't really, they don't really shake much when they have to hyphenate names. And you know, it now, took me back to the history of why we take up men's names. It's because before, they were the heads of the family. Yeah. You know, they provided, they had the money, they had the kingdoms, whatever. So when you come into that family, you too, it was almost seen as women would love that, you know, they could take up the name of this man that had taken over her or had married her. It gave that woman to some clout. Yeah. She was able to say, this is my name. I'm married into this family. Yeah. But now in modern society, we're having women doing amazing things. Yeah. They are achieving so much without even being married, without even coming from a family or a yeah. father that had any clout or had any success. They are doing it themselves. And so women, a lot of things we're questioning right now. We've questioned marriage in such a way that before where it seemed that the man was the total head and decided everything. But now we have a woman who feels 
I am doing the same work as you are, or even better, succeeding as well as you are, or even better, why can't we be partners in this? So for me, that's where it's coming from. So now that we are partners, let's look at our names. We are partners financially, we are partners intellectually, you know, we are partners in so many ways. So let's look at our names too. How does it show that this is a partnership yeah. more than a subsumation? I hope I got that I English right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Of a, you know, of a woman. So I think that's where this is coming from. Mm -hmm. Now for me, where I find it, it's a bit tedious. Personally, where I am right now, I, I, I think it would be a bit tedious to have my name and my children have, because there are some places where you go and the fact that your name is different from you your children's travel. name. It's yes, it's so Traveling stressful. Be, yeah. be but, yes, so when we decide to do that, you cannot just do that in your home. It has to be something that is now systemized, you know, institutionalized. Accepted. Where that they understand that you can be a woman with a different name and your children can have your name or the father's name. And also it means that the children, maybe when they get 18, can choose whether they want to go with their father's name or their mother's like name. For me, it doesn't seem, it's not so tidy. Yeah, it's not. It's, there's a lot of work that needs to Are be we done ready? institutionally. Are we ready to do that? <laughs> but personally, yeah. I know women that have their names, they have their known names, but in the papers, they have like their husband names yeah. for documentation and yes. things like that, but you already know them. So. Jocker Silva, yeah. he's Jocker Silva. He's Jocker Silva. Well, she's Jocker Silva Jacobs, yeah. initially. I mean, that's yeah. what I was doing. You know, when, when, when I was um, single, so I don't, my father was not a wealthy person, but he had a name. Yeah. And a lot of people then were telling me, just take your father, what are you, what are you, what are you adding the new name? Mm -hmm. Just stick to your own name, because they believe that that my name can and open doors, yeah. Yeah. and then people will know how, because even when people would, well, she saw me on TV and now found out that, oh, she's Alawa Kabashan. I was like, oh, really? I know your father. Mm -hmm. Say, if you had left that name, a lot of doors. God, don't, and you, do, you don't know the kind of doors God could have opened for you. Mm. But I didn't think it was respectful True. to my husband. Yeah. It was my own choice to, to leave his own name. And I said, because my father had a, a name, I should stick to my father's name. I just, I just felt, as a woman, I should respectfully accept what well, that's from, from my own culture and mm -hmm. background yeah i should yeah, respectfully I from my accept <laughs> my husband's name mm -hmm. you know and make my own new name yeah. from that yeah so um when so i, I agree with the conversation that it should be a I'm choice it, mm -hmm. yeah. but it should be a conversation that should be had yeah. we shouldn't just assume automatically because yeah. there's some women as you said that are doing so well today as a single woman mm -hmm. and they deserve that ownership that identity yeah. to be recognized name. Yeah. Yeah. in some cases even the husband will say you don't need to take my name because yeah. like your name your name would help Open us those. as a family yes but you know what yeah. and it's it, but, it, but it takes know, a lot the of women, the men that do that men look down on them no 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 it takes a lot no no not for not for it, it takes a lot of self-confidence to allow your wife Choose the name she wants to choose. Bear the name that would help her men, along that journey. Men, yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's not, it doesn't demean the man. Because mm. in most cases, it's not. what we say is, it, it sort of like demeans yeah. that I heard there's a, I want to go for a Bayami's husband, change to her maiden name mm -hmm. out, of, out of love, not force. Somebody was saying. Okay, okay. so, so a, a, woman, a woman does not have, I will come to mm. you, just one thing. I will come to you. <laughs> <laughs> does not have a name. We know get name. That's the that's reality the of the whole thing. That's it's either that's your father's that's name. History, yeah. is that name you are saying is your own is your father's name. Yeah. <laughs> From father's name to husband's name. So mm. the argument now is, are we going with father's name or are we going with husband's name? There's mm. no name. There's no space for us to create our own so name. So that's, that's mm. still the cultural Because we are egg layers. Thing. We are not seed planters. No, but that's still a cultural yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, so when on. we talk about the... There are parts in the north where everybody's name is Kutangura. Everybody's name is like Daura. Yeah. That's your name. So the, uh, the wife is uh, Kediko Daura, the father's, the wife's, the, the husband's family, family is, a, is the society's name. Everybody in that local government. I mean, so as you family. are marrying somebody else, both of you bear the and same son name. You became one family and you still bear your family name. What we are saying and is, what we've created for ourselves is not our culture. We borrowed the culture, we've accepted it. What was our culture before time? Maybe the Yoruba historians will tell us. Maybe the Benin historians will tell us. Now Maybe the Japanese the historians. Time. Japanese before, until now, in their language, the family name comes before your first name. They don't even call you. They call you by your family name. Yeah. That's oh. the way they call it. So, but when they're writing it for you in the, for English people, you can write your first name first. In their passports, the, the family name is no, their official name. No, we started with surname so, first. It was just recently we changed the name. In conversation is, you can build your family and say, uh, my, my husband is Odige, me, I'm uh, Odubela. 
What does Odi get me? What does Bella mean? Both of us, we want to now decide what our family name will, will be, be going forward with an intention. Some people created the names you are bearing what right now. To just so keep things simple, as we've always done them. You know why we why we must why we must we complicate matters? You're married, Mr. A, John just, is married just, to Jane. Uh, you are Mr. and Mrs. John. John. You have, your children are uh, Joe, John. John. Yeah, Cynthia, John. John. Yeah, I mean, can we just keep it simple? Must we? Because Change as names. we evolve, simple I know there are a lot of questions. There are a lot of yeah. change. They want to change. Want to want to you know critique things and yeah. you know and, and and make things better. But mm. sometimes like, maybe we should leave it simple. Yeah. So so like I said in the beginning, you know, there are some things I don't think this is, falls under. This has to be done. Yeah. Mm. This yeah, is no, a serious thing. It's, it's is, just what happened. Yeah, but it's good mm. conversation to have. Really, it's not a big deal. And as I said, for me, I think I find it tedious. You know the um, name that you're talking about, the north where you're from? Mm. It's still your father's name or your husband's name that you're taking. No, and the, the, that, the city's no, name no, no, no. They take the name because, yes, yeah, some people, because that is where they are from. Mm. So you take it. But even when you're married into the family, you're taking that name because it's either your husband's name or it's your father's name. So it's not because you're coming in with your own family, your yeah, own like personal Mrs. name. Just that to, yes. We don't so get it's, name. it's really your husband's mm -hmm. name or your father's name. Yeah. Or like those that have, for me, I don't, don't think your, it's... They change their name. But, but, I don't like the but name. But I know many women that love, they're looking forward to... Like many women are looking forward to bearing husband's uh, their husband's name. There are some people, you sit down, in fact, when you're dating, you have different men maybe that are courting you. You'll be looking at the name that will even suit your own name better. Like Mrs. Mariam. You know, like this, <laughs> this, like Mrs. Uh, oh, Mrs. this one sounds better, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it's not a big deal. But as you know, Gen Z will come and Gen A will come and they will think, <laughs> you no, know, this is unacceptable. And then the institutions will also look at it and say it's I unacceptable. I had to check out Everybody the... starts bearing names. Yeah. But what I see may, will make end up getting is where we start bearing numbers. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, let me yes. take this call. <laughs> Simon, I think, our final call. Good morning, Simon. Thanks for calling your live. Hello? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Get some volume, please. Good morning, esteemed ladies in the good morning. studio. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, this is Simon from Sankara, you know, from local government. Okay. Federal state. I can get that state. Um... Well, Mariah, where have you seen all this while? Eh? She traveled. I was away, sir. For holiday. All right, all right, all right. Uh, you are welcome back. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Uh, I want to congratulate you on this topic. Uh, my, my opinion on this topic is that women are not supposed to have their name. Mm. But, but sometimes it will be the discretion of the husband and the wife wow. to come together and choose a name. Here, either the wife will choose the name, the son name she wants to go by, mm -hmm. and the husband will consent to it, and mm -hmm. so it will be. For instance, in my own case, my wife is an educated woman. I marry her, we are more than 20 years in marriage. Yes, we have not changed them. She still go by the son name of her maiden name. Oh, wow. That's but good. It is also of our own volition. I don't have issues with that. But the normal thing, culturally, the normal thing is. Mm. Thank, Thank you very much. In the, in culturally, once you are married, you are supposed to change to your husband's family. OK. Thank you, Simon. For the sick, yes, let me add to that. For the children's sake, not necessarily for your sake, mm. because we usually identify, and even from scripture days, from the father's lineage, like That's I said initially. Yeah, 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 yeah. The father's lineage, normally. Bible Seed, planter, planter lineage. <laughs> who, who, who puts the cord for the ground? <laughs> and the person will bear the name. So you are identified with that. For you, changing the name most of the time is, I want to believe that the rationale at the time was for uh, your children's sake. And that's why it's OK if you even choose to keep your own maiden. Nobody would disturb you, you yeah. for keeping your own maiden name. For my children. And marry somebody else. Uh, but so my children. So I will not change my children's name. No. What yeah. I say is. So but the children from this marriage will bear the seed planter's uh, yeah. uh, 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 name. And then if I get to another person, matter. Get to another person, and there's another seed planted. Yeah. We be, so for easy well, identification. I'm not, well, I'm not even yeah. discussing okay, that. Well, we're not really discussing that. If, if they were to bear the mother's name, sorry, it's so short. Mm -hmm. If they were to bear the mother's name, if, I'm, if I have children from different fathers, it's not better to just bear my name, the 
the host of the children. There's a planter. <laughs> and, you know, There's so a planter. that the, the different, we know that this is the mother and this so are all children. So want to the children. That, that, yeah. that could be selfish. Yeah. 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 It can be defendable. Mm, it's, no, it's, yeah, but it's selfish to disagree or to totally discredit or remove this planter. We just got that we are not going to have name. You're taking two lineages into your own. If you make it about this. Please, can I just say something? Please, go ahead. The family just discredited us that we don't have a, women don't have a name. We have name. That we don't have where nobody's were just moving around but um what i wanted to say was we need to ed educate our travel um tr uh, the tr immigration officers and all of that because there's sort of there's this very strange way they see you if you have a different name they sort of chastise you at the airport because you dare to bear a different name from yeah. your children mm -hmm. yeah. for whatever reason that it might be maybe you divorced maybe you've remarried life has happened to you or you happened to life and you chose to have your name and your children have a different name, um, immigration officers are not, they are not God, they are not pastors, they are not our confidants. <laughs> the job is just to help us to move out of the country and come into the country. Don't take the role of now correcting us. Like, how can you, from his lecture, they will start lecturing you. So you mean you are this, <laughs> are you still married to their father? And you left the name and you're not bearing their name. Why will you do that now, madam? So please. Just a, God help you, you a child with a child. Hey. Yes, yes. Yeah, so that they, they, you would have to bring your father. Yeah. There were people, people have to, the, the father has to show up in the airport if you are leaving Nigeria and you bear a different name from, from your, your children. children. Yes. That's what I'm saying. This is also something we should so, discuss. So protecting even the same the name child. too, they have started questioning. I had a friend who traveled recently who was called at the airport. Where is the consent letter yeah. to go with these children? Yeah, yeah. And they all bore the same name. Because people, and she was worried. With name now. People are disappearing so it was with a children. protection. Okay, a man can travel without being yeah, which that because now the seed exactly. planter. So we need to balance it. Okay, we have to wrap up on this seed planting and the, <laughs> because um, as I, I, I think we are all adults and I think that um, when two adults come together and, and have, an, have an agreement that, okay, this is what we want to do as regards name changing mm. or not. But I, we understand the traditional uh, perspective of being a seed planter yeah. and having that lineage to be, tra to be tracked through the planters, not the ones <laughs> who carry this, the, the egg, not the, the egg layers. carriers, the layers. The layers, layers. I mean, yeah. that, that's, that's the traditional conventional way. Mm -hmm. the baby. But those yeah, who are carrying the eggs are now baby. saying, please, let me, myself, have my own identity. Your children can decide yeah. who they want to. When they now grow up, they can decide whose name they want to pick. But as children, as minors, maybe we'll focus on the planters mm. for, now. The, for now. Yeah. But as adults, they can then choose, you know, I want my mother's name, I want my father's name, I want to retain my father's name. But you as the egg layer, you, we should have a conversation to be able to discuss whose name you want yeah, to have you name they say Murayo Af um, Afolabi Brown or more Akaba Shoro. I will not have that on first. <laughs> That's too long. <laughs> I have got to go to put where Gary take yeah, And they're, they're both compound names. All right, <laughs> that is all we can take on this segment. When we come back, we want our next segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.